time to shake off your Christmas baubles and join us for another door on the 2022 Fat Lardies Advent Calendar. Now today is the 13th door and we know that Christmas is a time for wise men. So we've gone to the wisest of all men, our very own Sidney Brownwood, and we'll be asking Sid to tell us all about his dream battlefield challenge. It's been such a strange year that in times during the last 10 months, uh, the thought of even leaving my house from lockdown and going to the local town three or four miles away was, uh, in my own mind, going to be a major expedition. However, opening this advent win window, if I came out of hibernation tomorrow and was to go on a battlefield challenge, anywhere in the world, unrestricted costs, uh, there's only really one place that uh, I would be absolutely top of my list, and that's to go to America and to visit the battlefield of Gettysburg. I've been interested in the American Civil War for decades, really. Um, I remember seeing the Ken Burns series uh, in the UK, uh, and that really was uh, an eye-opener. Uh, so much information was available in respect to the Civil War, and I started reading more about it over the years which have gone by. I also really like the Paddy Griffiths book, Battle Tactics of the Civil War. It's a really well-written book which um, puts a very alternative view, I think, on uh, tactical and operational developments in the war. And I also really like the Battle in the Civil War book which Paddy Griffiths put together with Peter Dennis. It's beautifully illustrated and is a really graphic guide to the tactics and operational level uh, of that conflict. Armed with those books in hand and having watched the DVD again just recently of Gettysburg with uh, Martin Sheen and Tom Berenger, a cast of thousands, and having planned a virtual tour on the National Military Park Gettysburg site online, I feel that Gettysburg is right at the top of my list of American battlefields that I'd really like to go to. One of the things about Gettysburg is it just feels that I almost know the battlefield already because the names just ring through histories: so Devil's Den, Cemetery Hill, the Peach Orchard, the Wheat Field. All of those locations are places that war games have been set in. I've seen them on the war games table, uh, possibly read about them in war gaming magazines. And I feel that's a really good start with any sort of key battlefield that we would visit just straight out of lockdown. It would be to go to one which is really well known, but which we just haven't been to yet. And one of the things with battlefield walking is that often when we've done it, we've been well prepared, but we've been trampling over fields and through valleys and around farms, which aren't particularly well signposted. But with Gettysburg, uh, looking at the uh, National Park Service uh, online site and the videos which have been produced relating to the battlefield it seems to be a really well signposted curated um, and eminently walkable battlefield albeit over a large area one of the things i really like about the thought of walking gettysburg is that because the battles split over different days uh, different walking tours could be arranged and we could research our parts of the battlefield that we're going to visit over different days so it wouldn't be that we have to cram everything into just one day. We can spend some time there. We can retrace uh, the Battle of Buford's Cavalry on day one. Or maybe we could focus on the Devil's Den. Or maybe on the Peach Orchard. Uh, or maybe the final titanic sort of moments of Pickett's Charge. And each one of those different engagements, it seems, could be a walking tour really in itself. And I really like that idea. We'd have to take various books with us. We'd have to take... Um, a really detailed itinerary as to what we're going to do and what we're going to look at. <clears throat> and I think it'd also be fun to think about some of the counterfactuals, some of the hypothetical things which could have happened, which might have turned uh, the engagement at Beck Gettysburg uh, into a slightly different result than happened. So I would really love to visit Gettysburg. And I know that there are many of our friends in America um, who've recommended it to us over the years. So as we look forward to coming out of lockdown, 
finishing 2020 and making plans for 2021, the battlefield of Gettysburg in a two or three day walking tour in fine summer or maybe early fall weather would be just my ideal challenge to land on my desk. Remember, lard is for life and not just for Christmas. <laughs>